Hey everybody, David Lemon here again, and I'm going to tell you about the improvements that we released just recently in this deployment. So there is a previous video which I created uh, about the new things that were added into the Groove Pages software. In this video, I'm going to tell you about the things that we improved. So there were uh, existing functionalities that we made better. So starting from the first one if you have some unsaved changes like this and then if you were going to click into another app that would be that would not be saving the changes but then we added on this little prompt that before you want to leave we give you an option to save an exit or don't save an exit that way so that's that's kind of cool a lot of saves will be a lot of work will be saved this way we also added the webinar funnel colors. So if you click into the webinars, now you can see that we have purple. If we just, I don't know, let's just click into this webinar on here. And when it gets imported, the webinar folder will be in purple color. The pages will be still in pink, but the folders will be in purple so that you can kind of differentiate on what is a webinar funnel, what is a, a normal funnel and what is a normal page. So. As you can see, these are pages. If you go back, then you see a webinar funnel in purple. Similarly, we have funnels in blue, and that's the kind of the same uh, same scenario and why we added on these co different colors. Uh, moving on to the next one, we have the same back icon. So at this moment, this is going to be closing the sidebar, but in case you are going to a folder, like a webinar folder or a funnel folder, we added on the different icon for moving back. It's just a nice little way of letting you know that it's not going to actually close the sidebar. It's going to just move you back one level. Um, yes, this is this is kind of interesting. There were a lot of uh, let's just say this. There were a lot of questions about the search functionality in the sites at this moment. Uh, Previously, we had only a search functionality for um, for the first word of the site, but now we added on improvements where you can search any kind of phrase in the in the site name. So, for example, we have details written here. Previously, with a search functionality, you would not find it. If you type in details, details. If I could type details, here we go, so it shows up. Previously, it would just find the first word and that would be kind of it. So let's just do another test. Let's just use test, for example. Test. There we go. So if we type in test, you can see all of the all of the sites that have the word test in it. It doesn't matter if it's on the first place or the last place in the middle somewhere. It's going to find any kind of website with the word that you type in here. Um, moving on. Oh, yeah, this is cool. So in case you have a, a website or a funnel or anything really that you're working on and you didn't publish the pages, then you'll have a nice little red dot over here that those those pages were never published. But let's just say that we actually published this out. So let's just say um, webinar dash test dash two, for example. If we publish these changes, the red dot will disappear and then nothing will show on the on the actual little pages, uh, uh, the, these pages over here. These dots will, dis <clears throat> they will disappear. However, when you have some extra changes on the pages, then it will show with a green dot. And let me just quickly show you whenever we publish this, uh, the site. There we go. It's now published. And now these dots will disappear in a couple of seconds. As you can see, they are now disappearing. We don't have any more red dots on here. But what if I have something that I modified here? I click out and I click save. So I save the changes, but I haven't published them yet. So those saves will be actually showing up with a green dot as soon as they actually save. So let me just do a refresh on here. Let me just do a test on a different page. Oh, there we go. So it just takes a little bit of time. But now, as you can see, that they, there are some things that you changed on the page, but, but the green dot shows that that has not been published yet. So the red dots are for when you add it on a new site or a new template or a new page and you haven't published it live. 
but the green dot says that you have changes that were not published live. So the page is live, but the new changes are not live. So that's the differentiation there. Um, video elements show YouTube video by default. Okay, that's cool. Um, we previously had a video element, which which is still here, but now when you add a video element, we now have YouTube as the first one with an actual placeholder. People were saying that they dragged out a video and the video has something that it's not theirs. So we kind of wanted to give you an explanation that the video is just a placeholder that you need to go and configure your video in order to, to set it up properly. Uh, over here, we also rearranged the video selection per the preferences that our users have. So the people embed mostly YouTube videos on their pages. The next is Groove Video, then Vimeo, then Vistia. So we gave you kind of this organization over here as well. In case you want to uh, use a Groove Video, just click on the second option, which is offered in the video element, and then you're good to go. Um, then also we had the sub-label added. I showed the sub-label option in a previous video, but we also added an improvement immediately that the sub-label is now uh, centered on the button. So it's not centered using the text centering option, but it's centered within the code of the button. So it's going to be in the middle. Previously, it was uh, right aligned or sorry, left aligned, and you would have manually aligned it in there, but now we just put it straight in the center and you don't have to worry about that. So these were the improvements and I'm going to end the video now and I'm going to create a new video about the fixes. So just click on the link below and you'll find a video about the fixes. See you.